Hello, YouTubers, and welcome back to General Geekery. This will be part two of JD and I talking about the best vehicles from the Real American Hero line. Uh, we're going to start off with 1987, and I don't know where this is going to end yet, because uh, like I said in the last video, this is a three-hour episode, so I'm going to split it up into three parts. So it'll go for about an hour, and we'll see where we end up. Uh, as always, like, share, subscribe onto the channel, and comment below on what your favorite vehicles were for the years that we talk about, and be sure and tell JD why he's wrong about the shark being the worst vehicle ever. And here we go with Joe. So let's look at 1987. You and I have already talked about the slim pickings for 1987, and I think before we move on to that, 86, the reason you don't see too many vehicles for Cobras a lot of times they threw, like I said earlier, so they threw all their money into one big project. And in 86, it was the Terror Drone. Did you have a Terror Drone growing up? No, no. Um, I did later. Military brat. Um, later on. No, because like I said, I had a flag. But well, no, I, I never had a Terror Drone. Um, later on, some other place we lived, the first time I ever saw one in person, um, I knew a kid. Uh, it had to have been around 1990, and I went into this kid's garage, or, you know, the, the garage and on-base housing that he lived in, and this thing was wall-to-wall, -wall, like, toys. I mean, it, yeah, I'm sure his parents had stuff stored in there, too, but he had Joel vehicles aplenty, and he had a terror drone. That was the first time I ever got to see one, um, but, <clears throat> I mean, cool stuff, but I don't know as many Joe things as I got when I was a kid for Christmas, like the flag, um, you know, the headquarters, and whatever, but yeah, I never had a terror drone. Yeah, I never had one either. Um, I had never seen, never like held one before. Um, probably, uh, let's see, would have been after 2010, I think, because I gotten back from Afghanistan already so yeah probably 2002 2010 2011 I talked my mom into buying one for me for my birthday off of eBay <laughs> nice <Yeah. laughs> like, Thanks, Ma. like I wanted this so much as a kid and you never got it for me it's like oh you guilted her you it's my mom, my mom her. Is like my mom <laughs> was the travel agency for the <clears throat> trip and she's the, the the queen of guilt trip she's excellent at it so nice I learned from nice. I learned at the feet of the master. So, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I tried to customize it. It didn't work out. I didn't ruin anything, but uh, it's just painted in in colors that I never finished it. I need to go back and finish it, but I don't know what I want to do with it. Um, I mean, it would be cool to have one now. Again, not that I have any place to put it, but I just have a problem buying something piece by piece for yeah. $30 per piece yeah. um, because you know if you find one on the secondary market that's in reasonable shape with even half the stuff um, well I don't want to sell any of my internal organs in right. order to be able to afford to buy a toy and uh, sure there's bargains you could find but um, yeah, you got to get lucky yeah I was going like to say and otherwise flag. I mean, I've seen things, listings on eBay where <clears throat> it's little more than the shell and the base plate, and, you know, it's $200. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's cool as all hell, but, <clears throat> yeah, I've <just clears throat> never had one. Yeah, I wouldn't want to piecemeal that. So, uh, you and I already talked about <clears throat> 1987. So, uh, go ahead. Hang and on. Joe pick Wait. Seven. <clears throat> all right, so. 1987. Okay, this is where it gets a little difficult again to pick a favorite because what a meh year. Yeah, they put most of they, they they went with again, they did the the thing that we were just talking about and went with put all the money into two big projects. Yeah, because weak sauce for vehicles this year. Um absolutely. I mean, obviously the defiance awesome. Okay, but yeah, you know, but everything else, eh. Um, 
<clears throat> so my favorite Joe vehicle from this year. Okay, initially I wasn't necessarily going to pick one, um, but I kind of forgot about the mobile command center. Um, yeah, I, did. I didn't have one. I didn't have one when it came out, but I did get one later from a garage sale that had a lot of the stuff, and it's cool. It's clunky as shit, but it is it is cool. Um, I did like how it had all the little areas to put guys in, uh, yeah. to put the figures in, had the jail, had the motor pool. Okay, yeah, that thing, it's pretty badass. Um, I didn't have driver. one either. I got one uh, when I got back into collecting right before I started custom. <laughs> Um, now I've never owned the driver because again came from a garage sale. No, I've um, never, so I've, never. I've had uh, it twice actually. I I ended up getting rid of that one. I ended up getting one that wasn't complete, and I had to get rid of both of them when I moved. Um, yeah. So never had Steamroller. Um, he's a meh character with a, you know, hey, the figure's cool, but, eh. um, but they could even told you who flew that or who drove that. Um. Yeah, he's – most of Steamroller's mold was used by the club later to make a dreadnought, and, oh, that's why that mold cr was created because he's a – yeah, he's a fairly crap Joe. Uh, yeah. He makes a great dreadnought, though. Um, but, see, I was leery about this because is it a vehicle, though? Yes, it moves. Mobile command center, it moves. But is it a vehicle? I don't know. I think it's more of a place than a but, See, that's uh, what I was going to ask you because I am going to go with the Defiant myself. So that's the question I was going to actually say, not ask you about the flag. I was going to ask this question, is the Defiant and the Mobile Command Center, are those playsets or are those vehicles? What do you think about that one? I think the Defiant is much more of a vehicle than the Mobile Command Center because even though you got the launch complex and all that, the 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 shuttle, uh, the booster, they were detachable. You could move around. You yeah. know, you could, you you could fly the stacked version around, or you could detach the, you know, the shuttle from the, whatever that thing is underneath it. I've seen it in person, but I've never owned one. Um, but yeah, I think because of the shuttles, I think it does qualify as a vehicle. But yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool to place that too. But I'm gonna say that the that the the crawler and gantry are a playset, even though it moves, and that the the booster and the shuttle are the are vehicles. So I'm gonna say that yeah. it's, it's two and one. So you get a playset yeah, and say, a vehicle. Plus the okay. the vehicles can become playsets in and of themselves too, because they they can sort of connect. Yeah, well, and they did have the cockpits, and they did have the, the cargo areas. And Okay, so the Defiant is much closer to vehicle than the mobile command center is. So if I actually had to pick a favorite vehicle, if I took the mobile command center off the table because it's more of a place that, then I have to pick two Cobra vehicles because the rest of the Joe stuff that year was eh. Yeah, I had a persuader, they, but yeah, they put no, all the had, money into the the defiant and the mobile command center. That didn't leave lot, much left for for Joe. No. I mean, I had a persuader, but I used it as a mobat because I didn't have a mobat anymore. Um, but that doesn't really that that does not talk about the merits of the persuader itself. It was a stand-in. Um, so ugh, my first pick, I'm gonna go with the Cobra Wolf. Because I'm pretty sure my Joe's got that at some point. I don't know. Maybe not. That maybe Cobra kept it. Yes, but I love that thing as a kid. Yeah. Um, well, this is why I thought for sure you were going to pick the wolf in the first place. But the wolf was so damn cool. Finally, Absolutely. Cobra Cobra had a match for the Snowcat, which they didn't before. Um, I think it. Even though I think it out. I think it outclassed the Snowcat. No, 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 no. I do think it's a cooler vehicle, but I mean, at least Cobra had their answer to the Snowcat. Okay. Even though in G.I. Joe, the movie, the stuns were used as Arctic vehicles, but the Wolf was cool. It could hold two drivers. 
it. I loved the missile rack that that you pushed the back of it and it popped up, and it had the it had a laser gun on the top. It had the ski pedos came back and they were cooler than the ones yeah, on the better ski on the snowcat. Um, yeah, and it had the 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 the, uh, the skis at the at the front of it were awesome. Um, again, you could hang a bunch of guys off the thing. Plus, um, the tracks the tracks in the back would retract. I don't even remember that feature, but yep. that's cool. Um, yeah, the Cobra Wolf was so damn cool. Yeah, no, that is a fantastic view. Mm. Uh, so, no, I did not go with the Cobra Wolf. Uh, I went with another one of the vehicles that I wanted so badly as a kid and never got, and that's the Cobra Mamba. Uh, I had one which when is, I was You were talking kid. about how much, how cool the Tomahawk was as a for helicopters as a kid yeah. the mamba was the one that i i i, I want that thing i love the 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 twin rotors that swept in yeah there the fact that it had two yeah. detachable flight pods <clears throat> the pilot was cool the i even like the color scheme um, um i got one when i was an adult but i had to move uh i got rid of it when we moved and i got one um not too long ago and just finished restoring it um, and, yeah, I love that vehicle. I did have one when I was a when I was a wee lad, and I loved the shit out of it. It was if the stun was no longer the center of the of, of my my Cobra Army's, uh, you know, attack presence. It's because the Mamba replaced it. Um, uh, yeah, the Mamba was so cool. It was plus the bombs dropped out of it. Um, I like the like you said the pilot the Geyer Viper. Oh my God, he was so cool looking. Yeah. Plus um, the invasion of Cobra Island. How did that begin? The yes, the... you're right. The Mambas played a big part in the beginning of that. Yep. Um, yeah, the Mamba. I I do. It wasn't in the cartoon. Obviously, it was too late. Um, um, and um, but it was yeah it had a big part in the comic and. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I'm I'm glad that I've got one again. Um, so that was '87. Hey, uh, I think I want to put. I think I will say I am going to throw a hidden gem in here. Um, I have one too. recently. <laughs> All right, tell me what yours is. The buzz bore. It is stupid. I love the shit out of it. I loved it when I was a kid. I want a new one now. It gets a lot of crap from people our age who said it was a terrible, terrible vehicle. I completely disagree. And they were in the G.I. Joe video game that I had on the Nintendo, and you had to fight them, and I got killed a lot by them. Um, but the <laughs> buzz, it's, it, again, it's goofy as shit, but I have got to give some love to it. This is the first year I've really needed to name a hidden gem, and the buzz war is the hidden gem love that vehicle i'm amused that we both had to pick a hidden gem this year i'm going to go with the sea ray for me. uh oh. i went i was at uh, a local like secondhand toy store collectible toy store here they they've since gone under i think but they had one complete uh minus the driver for 15 bucks and i'm like yeah 15 bucks you know what the hell i'll customize it so i i bought it it is in pristine shape and my like, nice this thing nice is awesome it did i like the fact that it's detachable the back half as a glider is kind of stupid but the front half as a submarine i just i love the fact that it's like amphibious it's it's a better version of the shark is what it is um no shit um i i love the sea ray when i was a kid the only reason i can't put it on my list at all is because at some point I could not connect the pieces anymore because the connectors broke on it. Ah, uh, yeah. So, so the tail section that was supposed to be the glider, um, it just it got lost in the shuffle. I didn't care anymore because I just used the front of it. So yeah. I can't put it on a favorites list, even though I loved it. It just I didn't have the full C rate for very long. But Sea Slug came in. He was a big part of my Joe world when I was a kid. So 
Yeah, never um, saw it as a kid. Never even saw it. I don't think. Um, yeah, I loved him. He was a he was a dedicated character. He wasn't a trooper. I still see him that way. He's still just a guy. Um, he's still one of their their uh, their uh, C operatives. Um, but yeah, I just I can't pick it as a favorite because, like I said, when I was a kid, it just all all I could really use was the sub part because the glider on its own was stupid. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't broke, break it so. apart to yeah. I wouldn't use the back half. I think if I was like playing with it my imagination yeah it would split in half but only the front part would be usable and the whole thing would be submergible and flyable i dropped um, mine from the ceiling when i was hanging and it landed on the deck of my flag and went in like i thought i broke it but every damn. didn't break a single tab on oh it. oh no oh i thought you were gonna say thought you were gonna say your 15 dollars score uh became 15 dollars worth of pieces Nope. Um, it hit the it hit the deck and it went it it shattered. I mean, it didn't break shatter. It broke. All the pieces came apart. And I'm like, God damn it! Because all I need on what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restore it too. It just needs some new decals. The decals are shit on it, but um, I just haven't uh, gotten around to getting them. No, but you're right mine, though. Didn't, mine didn't break, so yeah, that's my hidden gem. But for you're it. right though. Um, it is cooler than the shark because everything that the shark did wrong, which was everything about it, the Sea Ray, I'm not going to say the Sea Ray did it right. I'm just going to say the Sea Ray proves that the shark could have been cool if it wasn't a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, I don't agree this with shit. you. All right. You, no. So. This shark thing, this is going to keep coming up because I can yeah, um, I figured as much um, because there's one in uh, next year in 1988, which is yeah, also it, awesome. <laughs> no, it also sucks because it's the shark. I don't care if it's night force; it sucks. All right, the nightshade, now, get out of here! The nightshade, fuck that. 88 is a hard year. It's a hard year to pick a favorite because I have six or seven favorites, but. It's an easy choice for me to pick the top of my favorites list. The Warthog A I F V. Ah, God. all right, yeah. Damn, God damn, I loved that vehicle when I was a kid. I got it. It was the very first thing from the 1988 line that I saw in the store, and it was the very first thing. I picked it up off the shelf, and my parents bought it for me, and that thing got played with more I think that just about any other vehicle that I'd had before that, minus maybe the stun, the vamp, those type of mainstays. But God, I loved it. Yes, it went in the water. Yes, I played with it in the bathtub. Not when I was in the tub, but like my par my mother used to let me go in there and play. You know, she'd let me run the water, and I would have the warthog and the sea battle. I and did, I did the uh, same thing when I was a kid. Yeah, see, yeah, because the Sea Ray, even though you know, I, I used the sub part and I had a bug. So it was it was the Sea Ray, the bug, the warthog, and all of my damn Joes, whether they were water Joes or not, because again, like the Sunbow cartoon where everybody went underwater, that's how I used it. You know, and I love the warthog. Plus it had Sergeant Slaughter, whom I was a massive fan of. And his hat came off this year, and he was thoroughly military. Oh, so fucking cool. I remember, I think the Warthog's one of the first vehicles I customized it as an adult. Um, we were, uh, Emily and I had just moved in together, and we moved to a, the apartment complex where she was living. And they had a, a like a, it was very, it was a, I would say it's bigger than a pond, but it's smaller than a lake. Nice. And then uh, the ambulance service that I was working for, my partner bought me a G.I. Joe fishing rod as a joke. <laughs> nice. That's so, pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I, I, was, I think he thought I was going to be insulted and get mad. I'm like, dude, this is awesome. Thanks. I, I took the, my G.I. Joe fishing line, my G.I. Joe fishing rod, I tied it to my warthog, and I floated it out on the... Nice. Nice. Uh, yeah, so I've got, I've got pictures of... Emily took pictures of me with my G.I. Joe fishing rod sailing my warthog out on this pond oh that's that's so cool wait a minute was that gi joe fishing rod was that like an old thing that he bought new or was it like a new thing that had just come out just i'd never seen one before 
Now it was a new thing. That probably would have been 2005 or two, uh, probably around 2005. Huh. Weird. Yeah, I wouldn't have realized that they would have had random merchandise like that for G.I. Joe in the store then. That's, that's super cool. I think you got it at Walmart, so I don't know what to tell you about that. Uh, so you went with, what did you say? The Warthog. Uh, yeah, the Warthog. Yeah. Um, damn, dude. I got to go with the Rolling Thunder. Yeah, good choice. I, it's another one that I just, I never had one as a kid, wanted it so badly. Uh, I got one, um, ooh, probably close to 10 years ago now that I was going to customize because I had a real cool idea to make a updated hammerhead with it. Um, but when I got this thing in hand, um, yeah, trust me, it, it would have been cool if I'd have built it. But I, I just, when I got this thing in hand, I'm like, I can't tear this thing apart. Yeah. This <laughs> you can't do it. Yeah. It, yeah, beast of a vehicle. Yeah, can't do it. Can't customize it. Uh-uh. Couldn't bring myself to do it. I've lost a bunch of parts to it somehow. So I don't. It happens. Yeah. So I, I need to, I want to restore it. So I need to get, I need a, a couple of the, the gun chairs and I need a bunch of the missiles. But. Otherwise, and the the little buggy, I I had all that stuff. I don't know where it went. I can't find it. it pisses me off. But it'll show up when you're not looking for it in a couple of years. That's what I'm hoping. That's why I haven't started replacing stuff yet. <laughs> I keep hoping it'll all turn up. But the other hair, hair. Under, I think is is fantastic. I loved it in the comic book. I mean, it, it basically got its own own separate issue with when the that and the Phantom came out. The Phantom would be a close second. Um. Yeah, the war. Oh, yeah, I remember for that issue of factor, the for coolness factor. That thing is a piece of shit inside. It is almost impossible to keep it to get one in decent condition. I think there's like a rubber band that holds the landing gear together. It's imp it's damn near impossible to repair one. I, I yeah. Have so one it's sitting on the floor. Even if I had parts to it, I don't, it's, it's just, it's a pain in the so, ass. You've got the same hang up. You can't pick it as a favorite for the same reason. I can't pick the C Ray because you don't have it in good condition. Yeah. Um, like it, it doesn't stand up well enough. For you'd actually call it, even if you do like it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't have a phantom. Um, a friend of mine did. Um, but, um, it was cool, but it's not practical. Um, I I will say, here's a funny thing. Last month, uh, I was watching Captain Marvel, um, and when they show the full flashback to um, how she got the powers. We watched uh, it when last her, night, actually. Um, yeah. Uh, by the way, <laughs> love the shit out of that movie. Um, um, when she does the when she when she has the full flashback and when it shows her and Dr. Lawson flying that mission into space, um as soon as like I I mean I've seen the movie numerous times now. <laughs> Thank you for Disney Plus. Um <laughs> I um but when I look at that at that experimental fighter that her and Dr. L that that uh that um um that uh Danvers and Lawson were flying this thing looks like a Phantom X-19 to me. Not exactly, it's, not perfect, but it's so, it's such, a, it's the closest to seeing that vehicle uh, in live action on the screen that we could ever get, I think. No, nope, uh, I'm going to argue that point with you. Um, I'm going to agree with you because on how cool it is to see something like that in the movie, specifically this vehicle, but I'm going to argue that point with you because I got mine shortly after the movie Stealth came out. I've never seen that before. Um, I Check can, that out. Um, I can picture... I think Jamie worked, Fox is in that. Yeah, Jessica Biel's in it. It's just somebody Biel. else that... Um, I've, just, I've never seen it. When I worked at Blockbuster um, back in the day, um, 
we had it for rent. So I can tell you what the box art looks like. I just never saw the movie. It kind of. The movie is it, not. It's okay. It's a popcorn movie. Oh, you know? no, no. I'm not going to say I refuse to. In fact, now I want to watch it. Yeah. Um, in fact, I might just watch it later because I'm sure between Amazon and Vudu, uh, one of them probably has it for rent. Um, I will not buy it. If 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 they want to sham me into that shit, I'm not going to do it. So I'll find it on damn YouTube if I have to or something. But, and then let me know um, what you think about oh, that. Oh, I will. Oh, All I right. will. But yeah, I've never seen it. So the, the, the closest I can get is Captain Marvel. And again, I love that movie. But as soon as I saw that thing pop into space, I'm just like, holy shit. I'm like, it's Ghost Rider's Phantom. Yeah, no, it's, it's funny I'm you like, say that because I – I had the same the same thing with watching Stealth. All right, well, so now, you, uh, give yeah, me I do need to see Stealth. Give me a Cobra vehicle for that year. Um, a lot. <clears throat> this one's kind of a toss up for me. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna have to say, the Demon, even though I did not have one. Where we were living at the time, which was in the same city that I'm living in right now, because that year my dad went to Korea. He got sent over to Korea, which I think I mentioned in the one episode. Yeah. Um, but we couldn't go. Um, but around the corner from, uh, around the corner from the house where my grandparents lived, there was a kid who had a bunch of vehicles, a bunch of Joes. But he had some vehicles that I had never seen before, like the Phantom. I had never seen it. His house was the first place I ever saw it. But he had a demon, and it was really, really cool. Um, and yeah, after he had it, like that in high school that that had a, it's like I had all the vehicles he didn't have, and he had all the vehicles I didn't have. Yeah. See, uh, then well, Tim and I that kind of that kind of is what happened because I had a bunch of stuff. He had a bunch of stuff that I didn't have. Um, so the demon was cool and I wanted one after that, but I never got one. Um, I got one, but I, I got rid of it for some reason. I don't, cause I thought I still had it. I was going to restore it and I don't have it anymore. Um, so I'm going to pick it as my favorite, even though I didn't own it, but it's just so cool looking. It is. It's, and, it's beautiful. That's one of the ones I wanted so badly as a kid and did not ever get. Well, and even though it was called the Demon, huh. You know, come to think of it, I think I just pinpointed the reason why I didn't have one. Uh-huh. I was just wondering about that. Kind of a bitch. You know, I never <laughs> actually thought about that till just now. <laughs> Damn you, satanic panic. Damn yeah. you to hell. Yeah. If, um, you've watched our previous, uh, if you've watched our episode on uh, what year did Crystal Ball come out? 1987. 1987. And there you go. Closest to it. Yeah. Um, although, I will say, I did have a Hydro Viper, but um, in retrospect, because if you look at the card art, I mean, well, first of all, you can call it the Demon of the Deep. He's yes. got that, well, he's got that, well, frankly, satanic looking mask. Even though it's more Chinese dragon ish, but I had a Hydro Viper because I'm pretty sure my grandparents bought it for me when they took wow. it to the store. So my parents, well, they didn't have say shit. They didn't have shit to say about that. But right. mm, the demon, yeah, it's a bigger purchase. Damn, damn you, satanic panic! I'm so yeah, mad no, right good, now. That's a good. Anyways, point. anyways. So, but later on, when I, uh, again, when I got online, yo, Joe. And I, I, I was looking at it, and I did an extensive um, – I was absolutely fascinated by the fact that um, that if you look at the name, even though I knew it when I was a kid, I don't think it mattered because I didn't have one. Right. But the fact is that the demon isn't actually the name. It's an acronym right. that stands for Dual Elevating multi Ordnance Neutralizer. Holy shit. Destro's Iron Grenadiers had the coolest acronyms ever. Yes. Um, his um, um, his despoiler yeah. would uh, link up with that, too. Really? Yep. The despoiler will attach. There's a, 
a spot on top um, that's re- weirdly shaped that the spoiler will, will, will... Really? Yes. Like, like that was like a planned, like, interactive... I did not know that. Yeah, no, the, the spoiler huh. will attach to the demon. Oh, huh. well... A specific place on it for it. That's funny, because Tim and I, we both had... Uh, Iron Granny, there was Jastro. We both had the spoilers. I don't know if he ever knew about that because yeah, I assume we would have played that way, you know, when we, but huh, I did not realize that. That is um, really cool. Yeah. I don't know that if, uh, yeah, look at, uh, Yojo go into, uh, the pictures, uh, on the demon and the last yeah. one is called docked. Oh shit. Look at that. Yep. Oh my God. Look at that. Huh? Um, see, that's uh, funny. Holy shit, I knew something about G.I. Joe that J.D. didn't mark this uh, date in history. Aha, uh-huh, aha. Uh-huh. No, no. That's because you're slightly more of a vehicle guy. But when it comes to trivia shit about the characters and figures, you can't compete. So let's not fuck around here. You're the guy that texts me to ask me stupid shit like, what's this guy's file name? And I'll text you back with the guy's file name. Yeah. But that's funny because, well, again, when, when I got Yo Joe, Way back when the internet first came out, you remember back in the good old days when all the experts thought the internet was just going to be a thing and it wasn't going to last very long? Yeah. Holy shit. Thank you, internet, for, you know, not following the rules. Well, shit, That's you funny. and I would never have even been friends if it weren't for the fucking internet. Tis true. Um, but that's funny because, like I said, I got to... The demon, I did research on it from Yo Jo, but honest to God, either at the time when I, don't I was doing think the that research, doc picture, has, I don't think the doc picture has always been on you on Yo Jo. Uh, I was gonna say because either um, when I did the research, it was before it was on the website, or honest to God, maybe my maybe maybe it's something that I saw a picture of or saw a picture, but I never like it never. Like, it never had the impact on me. Like, it never sunk in. Like, it was just maybe one of those. Or, and then maybe I forgot. I don't know. But I, I don't think that picture has cool. been on there. But, yes. So, Shit, yeah. that's cool. Uh, um, Cobra uh, for 87, or is that 87? No, 88. Sorry. Uh, I'm yeah. in, um, I would have gone with the demon because, yeah, that's fantastic. But I'm going to go with the Cobra bug. I love the fucking goofiness of it, the colors, the the it's another vehicle that's just like so playable. I I I customized one, I gutted it out, I built an interior for it and my primer ruined the custom. I ended up having to throw it away. I was I so- remember seeing I remember seeing the pictures of that as you were after you dremeled it out and you were building a new floor for it and stuff. Oh, that's so cool. But yeah then it fell by the wayside and then i got a second one i was going to try and paint it in like cobra colors cobra <laughs> colors or no the colors that it came in but like used like modern spray paints oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It so you did it, so do like a more detailed paint job on it like you did with the hurricane yeah well um, i yeah and it, it just, it, it looks horrible. Let me get it. I'll show it to you. I was going to try and go with the more modern, updated. Oh, color. nice. Yeah, oh, that's I cool. I don't, I didn't like it. I don't like it, though. Huh. Well, so, well fuck it's you. Complete, it's complete, though. I'll take it. It's complete. Um, no, the seated, he's pretending I didn't say that. Okay, um, I'm going to say it again. Hey, fuck you. I like it. Send it to me. Thank you. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Um, okay, so you just like the, it, but not enough to donate it? Thanks. Yeah, pretty much. Yes. Yes. Uh, one of the things that I do not like about this is how fragile it is. It is that, because I had it when I was a kid. I swear to God, I must have lost all the pieces off it at some point. It yeah. definitely, the, the bubble canopy at the front of it, I definitely did not have that for very long. So when the Secto Viper sat in there to pilot it, oh, that guy was wet a lot. Um, but I never had this as a kid. I was happy to, to get this. This is when Dion helped me put together because he had a bunch of pieces for it. Um, um, but yeah, it's my, cool. The, but the tabs break on it real easy, unfortunately. Yes. 
Well, that was I think the bug that I had, I'm pretty sure, like the Sea Ray, and again, this is why I can't pick it as a favorite. The the played version that I have pretty much looked like that, and then the 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 pod was a separate vehicle. Yeah. Again, this is why I can't pick it as a favorite because I had this problem repeatedly. Maybe it was a problem with the design. Maybe I was the problem. I'm blaming the toy. Yeah, mine was frightful shit because I, I, this is my second one and I've broken the tab on both of them. Yeah, I mean, it happened. It, awesome vehicles. And, you know, I can't even say great idea, bad execution because it wasn't. It was no. just the materials they were yeah, using that's it, that's to it, exactly. make the vehicles. You know, they were meant to be played with. They weren't meant to last forever. They were made... The, the people at Hasbro Design, they knew flat out that some of the stuff was going to get broken. They were just, it, it was probably just hoped that if it got broken, parents would go buy another one. They'd, they'd rake in more money. Um, yeah. But, yeah, the bug is cool, but, you know. Yeah. Um, um, my close second, I've never had one, but I've always wanted one, is a Cobra Imp. Um, I, hang on. Um, is that? That's the vehicle I'm thinking of with the two with the missiles on the top. Um, yeah, the three missiles that lay mines. Yeah, that. Um, in my mind, uh, I always mix up which vehicle the Cobra Adder is and which vehicle the Cobra Imp is. I always think that the that that the Imp is the one with the two, and they're both cool. Um, I. I didn't have an imp when I was a kid. I did have one years ago. I bought one off eBay. Um, I think it, I think I still have it stored away. Uh, I made a pilot for like I designed a pilot for or a driver for it because it didn't have one. Yeah, very cool. Um, I feel bad for the guy driving it actually because every time those missiles launched, um, yeah, they must have gone through drivers like you know yeah, tissue that's, because that's definitely one of the things that you see like like parody articles about gi joe vehicles and they're always they're always talking about how how many how many joes and cobras got killed by their own missiles taken off from their vehicles. <laughs> yes because and there is no way between the adder and the imp i really don't know how which vehicle would have led to more uh casualties um before they ever got to the battlefield because holy shit that is some irresponsible use of missile safety or lack thereof. There are no safety protocols like the U.S. military uses. Yeah, Cobra doesn't. Yeah, they can't be bothered with that shit. Um, it's a lot like the Empire with their Tie Fighters and and all that. Who cares about the people inside? Numbers, numbers, people. Right. They're, they're like alone. they're like the freaking Russians in World War Two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the individual you don't matter. Five million of us, I think one of them said. Exactly. So, yeah, the imp is super cool, but yeah, for some reason in my head, the adder and the imp, I always mix the names up. Understandably so. Uh, let's go with eighty-nine. Give me your Joe pick for eighty-nine. Um, <laughs> to nineteen eighty-nine. Give me your GI Joe pick for eighty-nine. Um, hang on. Uh, This is a tough one for me. Um, yeah, this one's kind of on the Joe side. It's yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay, but <clears throat> I can pick one. Um, I never had one. I've never owned one. I have seen it. So, um. But it's a favorite because it's one that if I could find a deal on it with all of it, well, well at least with some of its shit, I would buy it. Uh, the Slaughter's Marauder's Equalizer. Um, Absolutely. It was, yes. I mean, it's the Mauler, but with a missile rack and all kinds of extra accessory and like new accessories. Like, it's not even like. It's not even like they took pieces off another pre-existing vehicle. No, this shit was new. Um, like they, like they completely reworked the Mauler into, it's practically a new vehicle. It is um, a new vehicle. I didn't even know <clears throat> part Mauler. To um, be honest with you, because I, I, I've had one, 
Um, probably shortly after we first met, uh, I customized one and then uh, Joe Rhino asked me to donate it, um, to auction it off for charity. Um, I'm guessing right. because of that, you don't actually regret it, but in some ways, I'm sure part of you regret it. I do, because uh, the same place I got my C-Ray, they had a equalizer, and it's 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 missing a bunch of the stuff, and I started yeah. looking at the price on parts for that thing, and it's insane. I will never oh. be able to get that. No, the Slaughter's Marauder vehicles, because they were cool and because they 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 had new tooling and stuff, they're always going to go for a mint. They were harder to find than the figures were too, because the Slaughter's Marauder figures they were everywhere. Yeah. But the vehicles, not so much. And I didn't have I didn't have the vehicles when I was a kid. In fact, other than maybe seeing them in the like. Other than seeing them in the in the D cartoon, um, I'm not actually sure. Maybe from if there were, maybe it was in the catalog. Maybe I would have kind of been aware on the periphery that there were vehicles, but I uh, I don't know if I was. But uh, yeah, it is so. Yeah, and it's the beautiful. Equalizer I is, wish I still had it. I wish I had. Number one, I wish I hadn't customized it, and number two, I wish I hadn't got rid of it. But. Yeah, yeah I mean it's fantastic. There's so much there's so much going on with it with the new parts. I mean it's got the you know it's got it's got twin uh uh triple missile launchers uh yeah. and it's got this like this this radar apparatus on the front I, it's so cool. I mean yeah, I absolutely. like I said if I could find a deal on one that had at least most of the stuff I would probably pull the trigger but absolutely. there are no deals. Mm -hmm. And if there are deals, they don't have the shit. It, you're basically buying a half tank. Which so. is what I did. Uh, I think I spent 20, 20 bucks on mine. And yeah, it's missing most of the stuff. Because I, I figured I'd be able to piece it together. And then it then just... you found out the pieces cost more than the vehicle. Yeah, because I was looking at, I think, the, the hatch covers for the front. You know, the left hatch covers, 20 bucks on eBay. I'm like, oh man, there's no way. Yep, and that right. you know, like you mentioned, the radar piece and the antenna, and it's got the tow rope. Those are impossible pieces to get. <coughs> yep. No, it's a. I was. I was gonna say if you didn't go with the equalizer, I would have gone with it. Um, oh, that's funny. So, uh, since you went with the equalizer, I'm going to go with the Raider. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, the Raiders good stuff. Um, it's, that, it's kind of goofy looking, but there's it, just something about it. It's goofy looking, but it's a lot like the stun and the bug. For all the goofiness, it's awesome. Yeah. And now, see, I would say that might count as a hidden gem because that is a that is a routinely forgotten about vehicle. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I it's cool. one, one of the most frequent. Frequently broken parts on it is the canopy clasps. And, yeah. Um, I dropped mine not recently and broke. Because well, <laughs> I, I have mine's complete except for the, the pilot. And I had the intact canopy clasps and I dropped it and crack. I'm like, fuck. But yeah. yeah. It's it's still an awesome vehicle. I love the hell out of it. I was I bought it to customize, and once I got it in hand, I was like, no way, man. This thing just I I love it the way it is. Yeah, yep. Um. So yeah, the Raider. Um. Who was the pilot of the Raider? A uh, hot seat. Hot seat. That's right. I can never um, remember that. I don't yeah. Know I've uh, ever seen that. File name: uh, Michael Provost. Um. He is. I like his file card, the figure, but yeah, yeah that, um, I actually made a custom of him a couple years ago where I basically used the color scheme, but I used all different parts for him. Yeah, because I just I wanted him, I wanted them to look more like the 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 portrayal on the file card, uh, the bare knuckle uh, boxer, and he's supposed to be a tough bastard and. The figure is a little yeah, dumpy it's, looking. It's mediocre um, at best. 
So, uh, yeah, I kind of, I used a Jean-Claude Van Damme Street Fighter movie head uh, ah. on him, and I gave him the gray hair because uh, I was trying to give him a little bit of a cable vibe, you know, so. Um, <laughs> My dogs are going crazy. I don't know what, the, there must be somebody out front. Or a squirrel. Yeah. Um, um, but, yeah, the, uh, yeah, Hot Seat, he's a nifty character that was saddled with. Yeah, that's there. Uh, oh, she's back. Yeah, um, I got Alice um, Andy down here right now. Oh. Um, so, yeah, good choice on that one. Yeah, I thought that was kind of one that not everybody would pick. Uh, give me your <laughs> pick for that year. Um, I think I know what it's going to be, but I'm not positive. Okay. Because I had one, I'm going to have to go with the Cobra Hiss 2. I knew it. I knew um, it. I knew it. I'm like, he's going to go with the Cobra Hiss 2. Yeah. Um, it was – I had long since lost my Hiss tank, and I no longer had a stun, um, which became, my, you know – told you it, it became my his replacement um and i didn't have a python stun uh never ever saw it in the store um probably would have had it if i had ever seen one but i never did um um i yeah the his now as an adult i look at that and i feel like the sculpt has way too much going on with it it's too busy too much too too much with the greeblies uh details and stuff but um and the the, the bright red cannon drives me insane. Um, Understand but I mean, it's cool, and it had the troop capacity in the back. But didn't the, I like the didn't fact it slide out in the back too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a drawer that went in there, and it was cool. And and uh, uh, much like the the troop capacity in the warthog, you know, it had the the bars that yeah. went over the figure's legs to hold them in place, and it was cool. I, I don't know why, but my favorite feature of it was um, <clears throat> not only did the 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 driver it could fit two drivers, yes, <clears throat> but you could drop the floor of it down, um, so oh, you could that. load them from the bottom or through the canopy, you know, lift the canopy and put them in that way. I don't know what the purpose of the drop down floor was, but it was it was a cool feature. So yeah, I've yeah, never seen cool. one in person, and uh, I think. I don't know why, but I think um, that that what year was that it was eighty nine. I think eighty eight was the last year I got vehicles. <clears throat> um, I any vehicles after eighty eight as a kid? About ten years ago, I got a new uh, his tank too. I bought it off eBay um, with the intention of repainting it. Uh, the red I was going to go much much darker, um, <clears throat> and. The body, I think I was going to do in black, like the classic is. Yeah. But um, the I think that would uh, look beautiful in classic, in just all black. And well, it probably would, but I got it because I was going to do like, like maroon and black. But <clears throat> the canopy, uh, the canopy, the clasp on it, not not the clips on the vehicle that hold the canopy in place, but the actual. Uh, canopy broke the the handles broke on the back of it so I got mad at it and I'm just like you know what yeah forget it um yeah. yeah it was it was just I didn't realize it was fragile but maybe it was just that specific but yeah I bought it and and I yeah it didn't work so yeah I, I've <clears throat> kind of always wanted to see I've never seen one in person I've always wanted to like to see one and play one but i I've never been a big enough Hiss fan to go uh, out and get one. So my well, pick for 89, um, again, weird ass looking, but God, I love it, is the Cobra Condor. I hate that vehicle so much. I love um, that. I don't, I'm not too keen on the, the breaking it apart, being two different vehicle thing. I'll give you that one. But nah, man, that thing is a work of art. I repainted one. Uh, you probably can't see it uh, in stealth colors. 
<laughs> I remember that custom. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You basically, you turned it into um, a counterpart for the Night Raven. Yeah. Um, I, I turned it that, into that, the, turned it into, yeah, <clears throat> turned it into well, the, I played. See, that's a case where a customizer improves the vehicle by repainting it, and then it just makes me mad all over again that the original vehicle was bright white and stupid. I um, still love the bright white one. I'm trying to restore uh, a bright. I'm trying to restore a vent, uh, one that's white because the one I have is is white. It's but not it's yellow and white like a vintage stormtrooper. I'm guessing. No, it's not uh, yellowed or anything. I'm having <laughs> trouble getting the. Uh, rear canopy and the gun for it oh yeah um because a couple of years ago uh the gi joe bird podcast um they had they had an episode where they showcased the condor they discussed it a couple of the people on the show didn't really like it uh one of the guys they made a good case for it and i took a look and i'm like no it's still stupid oh no it's fantastic um, so, it's got the the bombs and the wings that's got, you know, it's got a lever that will push the bombs out. The, there's the, the panels that flip up to load them. There's, a, there's bombs in the fuselage, like, the, like a turbine that spins and it will drop bombs. Yeah, it's see, that's kind of cool, but it's just so ugly. It's just so weird looking. Although, it is a million times cooler than the shark. <laughs> well, uh, I'm... <laughs> Yeah, I nope. Because nope. as much as I love the condor, I'm not going to argue that. Hey, look at the floor. There's a dead horse, and I'm still beating on it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. going all the way to the finish line, I think. Very possible. Mm. Um, very possible. <laughs> How come you didn't say talk about the night force version of it from last year? That was that was a beautiful black and red, fantastic. Yeah. The yeah, condor. yeah, but but uh, yeah. Yep, love to have a condor. Um, so that is 89. Let's look at 90. Oh, you know what? I did get a couple vehicles after. I must have taken a break because 1990 is a fantastic year for vehicles, in my opinion. Um, yes, it is. Because <clears throat> um, I had a bunch of these. <clears throat> um. Actually, you know what? I had a bunch of these, too. Um, I never had a hammerhead, but a friend of mine did. Um, yeah, wherever we were living at the time, yeah, my friend did have it. So I got to play with it. I just, I never had one, but I'm looking at this. I'm like, God damn, I did. I had a bunch of these things. Um, my favorite is the hammer. Um, yeah, I had the hammer. That was a, That was a fun toy. Yeah, it was fun, and it was big. It was burly looking. Yeah. It was, it was like it was, it was Humvee on steroids. Yeah, um, I think I really appreciated it because um, I think I kind of saw it as an updated vamp. Um, like it yeah. was, it was not. It was the vamp on steroids. Um, I mean, it was cool. Plus, it got a showcase in. I want to say. I think it was issue 111 or 112 of the comic book because Flint, Lady J, Roadblock, uh, yeah, they're they're all and the show and the the hammer gets a big showcase there and it was always on the D cartoon. It was one of their go-to vehicles. The Good. hammer is one badass thing. And now I don't have a hammer now, but back in the 2002. Joe line, the, the G.I. Joe versus Cobra toy line, they repainted the hammer in kind of these weird shades of green camouflage. It's, again, it's not practical, but I do have one of those. They called it the Brawler uh, okay. because, yeah, they didn't have the trademark for the hammer anymore, but uh, so I've got the hammer, mm, not the same exact thing, but yeah, that is one badass vehicle. So you're going with the hammer then for your Joe pick? Yes. All right. Um, very curious what you're gonna pick here, dude. I just or, I don't know that I can pick just one this year on any of these. I love this pretty much this whole fucking wave all the way around. Um, 
I'm going to go with the Avalanche. Yeah, that was. It's a and, huge tank. It's got the hovercraft. It's got that. I even like the disc launcher on that thing. It's, yeah, that thing is play features up the wazoo, and it was cool, and it was enclosed, and it was. The driver was cool. Cold front's cool. Yeah. The only thing I didn't like about it was that for as big as, as it was, it only held two guys. You're right. It did. It didn't have foot pegs or, well, there wasn't really any place to put foot pegs. Yeah, on that's, it, especially that's, not that's with it. it. I mean, that's the whole thing. I mean, it's, that's, yeah, it's like, it's like, okay, this, as big as this thing is, I should be able to put guys on this thing, but I can't. Um, yeah, it's that, true. That's one, another one I'm restoring. I just need decals for it. Nice. It's, I think I'm missing the missile. Nice. Ooh, God. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, man. Yet thing, God, even back then, it looked like something straight out of the future, and it still does. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of timeless that way. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, and look at this this beauty. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, yeah still stupid looking. Not at um, all. I, I guess yeah. it is a little yellow, but it's not too bad. No. Uh, well, uh, your black repaint of it's awesome, but yeah, that thing sucks. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the uh, – the avalanche on that close second is the locust i had that thing and that thing was so fucking playable you could put it dropped bombs out of the bottom it you could put um figures on the side it was to me it was like a more realistic update of the skyhawk yeah um i've never been a skyhawk fan i didn't like it when i was a kid I don't like it now. I do like the locust, and you're right. I never, I never thought about that, but you're right. It's like a way more practical Skyhawk. I like the Skyhawk um, only because it was in the very first GI Joe comic book I ever got. Yeah, so you're emotionally attached to it somehow. Yeah. Um, it is cool. You know what? The novelty. There was a there was a gimmick that year where the GI Joe General that giant ridiculous vehicle playset came with the locust well this was the only time that a separate locust was made available in the line package by itself in a completely different color scheme yes. because the locust that came with the general matched the color scheme of the general yes, um yes. but the individual one was like brown and silver and really cool um because i didn't have a general and i did not have a retaliator or a hammerhead. I did have just about all the other vehicles. Yeah, dude, that thing is. Oh, you've got the general version. I got um, a general just recently. Really? Wow. I got nice. um I got nice. a smoking deal on a general uh, uh about a month ago. Uh nice. one of guys on eBay's like I got to get rid of this thing. 120 bucks. What? It's complete um it's, no way but two of the God. wheels two of the wheel pegs were broken off who cares um yeah, for 120 like, bucks it complete yeah it didn't have the driver um he's like it didn't have the driver don't have the blueprints don't have the um file card i'm like who That's cares for that cheaper. price who gives a shit yeah um i fixed the pegs on both of the wheels oh nice yeah i was nice. able to fix it um so i mean they weren't it it so, I mean, it's, it's like brand new, and it's in fantastic condition. Um, I yeah, I was a kid. I kind of wanted it, but it was so huge. I didn't have the room because it was, you know, this is like the last year I got vehicles. I yeah, wanted, see. And I'm, I, I'm glad I got it now. And, and well, for $120, I couldn't pass it up. Well, see, even though I didn't have one, that same kid – that I talked about that did have that garage full of Joe stuff. He did have a general. So I got to play with it a lot. So I didn't have it. Uh, yeah. Same kid that had the hammerhead. Same kid. You know, looking back, I think that kid may have been spoiled rotten. No wonder he was kind of a shithead sometimes. I will um, say that um, um, I almost, it. mine was almost not complete shortly after I got it. Because uh, what did you almost the, break? Nope. I didn't almost break anything. I shot the missile lost. launcher, the the mortar. Oh, ah, whoops! And uh, Izzy saw that and took. Uh, she ran after the <laughs> and took off. 
<laughs> my, my dog grabbed one of the grabbed the mortar shell and ran off with it because she thought it was a new toy. Nice. And she wasn't going <laughs> nice. to give it back. Nice. Um, so yeah. uh, I would I would like to pick the general, but it's the locust that really I I got a lot yeah. of my memories over that locust. So for a second one, but uh, yeah, avalanche for sure for the first one. All right, give me your Cobra pick, then. Um, this one, there's two. It's kind of hard to pick between. Yeah. I love the Cobra Piranha because it was like a devil fish for Cobra. Yes. Um, but no, I have to go with the Cobra Rage. Holy shit. I loved yeah, I that vehicle. Phenomenal. I had one. <clears throat> it was the first vehicle from 1990 I had. I loved that the gunner position elevated. Yeah. I loved that the hatches opened in the front to put the figures in. I yeah. loved that on the side of it, it had that that drop down panel that brought out that. I don't know. It was like a. I, I think it was supposed to be like a mini gun or something. Holy yeah. shit, that was cool. Um, I love the wheels on it. I love the battering ram on the front of it. The mini gun in front. <clears throat> Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The mini gun in the front. Uh, uh, that shot. In the back. Uh, yeah, that's right. Because uh, in the front, it had the battering ram, but there's a slot in the battering ram so it could shoot uh, mini gun. Um, yeah. But see, like the vehicle wasn't already cool enough. Um, but then it came along in the comic book in G.I. Joe issue 109 when suddenly the Joes went from very few casualties to, holy shit, they're killing people off. Yeah. Uh, the rage plays a huge role in that issue, and that rage exploding was the reason why Quick Kick, Crazy Legs, um, Breaker, and... Crank Case, wasn't it? Yeah, no, he died in the ditch. Um, holy shit, I'm having a brain... I'm having a brain fart here. No, no, it was just the three of them that died because the other three, the other four guys died in the in the ditch. Um, but it explodes and kills them off. But it was just so cool because it it. And then the D cartoon again. The Rage Tank was all over that cartoon. It See, was always there. The, I've never watched the D cartoon. <clears throat> um, I can't say you're missing anything. Yeah. I um, it is amusing. Um. It's more annoying than the than the Sunbow cartoon. There are episodes that are amusing and are entertaining, and there are ones that are literally so stupid that they're unwatchable. Stupid can be a good thing. There was lots of stupid in the Sunbow cartoon, but the stupid in the Sunbow cartoon tended to be because it was just a little over the top. Yeah. Where the stupid in the Deke cartoon tends to be because the plots were small scale to the point where the co Cobra took over a goddamn kindergarten class. Okay. The episode was titled kindergarten commandos. I think it was fucking stupid. There's an episode where GI Joe and Cobra play football on Thanksgiving. It's stupid. There's a difference between Sunbow stupid and Deke stupid. Yeah. I mean, there were episodes that were good. There was an episode where Big Ben and Red Star were driving around the general, and there was this bureaucrat from Washington that came in and tried to, like they were like she was auditing the team so because the, they were spending too much money or something. There were issues. I mean, there, there were episodes that were cool. There was one where Ambush had this childhood friend named Evie, and he finds out at the end of that episode that she's joined Cobra and she's a range sniper. Yeah, was, I mean so. Yeah. It did have, <clears throat> I mean, there were practical, I mean, there, there were episodes that were really cool, but then there were episodes where they fucking played football. All right, so, so, yeah, so you had a hard time picking between the Rage and the Piranha, so I'm going to say that I've got a hard time picking between the Hurricane and the Hammerhead. I knew you were going to have, all right, you want me to flip a coin? No, I'm yep. kidding. Because, um, um, yeah, they're both cool. Um, yeah, I I customized my hurricane and made it look awesome. Yeah, look at that shit. It's all I, realistic I, I, looking. This is the first thing I did with my air my airbrush. Yeah, 
Yeah, look at the realism. Uh, do you have the pilot that goes with it, Vapor? I do not. Um, yeah, see, I didn't have him when I was a kid. My fr uh, No, I take that back. I did have him, but I didn't have him for all that long because um, there was a misadventure when I went outside with them one time, Vapor just, unlike my Desert Scorpion, which got stolen by that kid that lived down the street, uh -uh. Um, Vapor just, I think I forgot to bring him in and yeah. went back out. He was gone. Um, he was a weird fucking character. Yeah, he, his but, helmet was weird. But I used him as Wild Weasel. Later on, I decided that Vapor was cool and he should be his own character. But yeah. I used him for the brief time I had him. And even then, after that, I thought, I thought he would have been a cool update to Wild Weasel, like different, but cool. And that's how I used him. Uh, I also have, since we're looking at stuff here, might as well get it out. <clears throat> Yo, know, every time Brian's away from the camera, I'm looking at his toy store display back there on the wall and thinking to myself, you know, as much as I don't really understand carded collecting, then I'm looking at his wall and I'm like, holy shit, that really is impressive. I think you, you should, should see my other wall. What I get. What you should see my other wall. It's uh, all my customs carded. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's badass. Um, oh. Holy shit. Look at that thing. Is it complete? It is. Oh, God. Man, what a chunk of play. Man, I forgot how big that thing is. Yeah. This was God another man. one that I bought that I was going to customize because I had planned on gutting it out and building a new but, interior. But once I got it in hand, I'm like, no. You're like, fuck no. It's too cool. Well, because if you customize it, you risk wrecking it, like what happened with the bugs. So you can't do that to the hammer. Oh, my God. Look at that. I forgot just how massive that vehicle was. Yeah, no, everything's in good shape. The antenna's a little bent on the back, but it's all together. I mean, uh, this is one that I'm going to sit down. I'm going to restore it. Can't and you polish like, it up and get stickers for it? Uh, repro stickers. I mean, doesn't that thing hold like 10 figures? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can put seven just in the yeah in the thing, in the thing, and then plus it's got the decompression chamber in the back that you could put a couple of guys. Yeah, that's them. right. Yeah, they, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Um, oh, that's right because the kid, the kid that lived across the street from me, not the same spoiled little shit. It was a different kid. Um, he had it, and I think we just used it as a troop carrier. Um, yeah, yeah. I think I think at the time, I think we were. I don't know. I think we were like 11. Um, I don't think we understood the decompression chamber thing. I think it was just a troop carrier. Man, I forgot how big that vehicle is. That's cool. Yeah, no, it's it's beautiful. I love that. I love the car. Yes, so definitely much. restore it. That that that's gonna look amazing. Yeah, that's it's. Uh, I won't say it's next on my list because I've got a bunch that just need stickers. So like the avalanche just needs stickers. I've got a snowcat that just needs stickers. Yeah. I got a bunch that just need stickers. I just, I need to make a big order with toy, with uh, Cobra stickers and just get it done with. But yeah, no, the hammerhead would be a close second um, for that year. Hang on a second. Let me pull my, oh, God damn it. I forgot I'm out on my phone. All right. So yeah, the hammerhead is definitely a, a close second for uh, 1990. So let's go on. All right. There you go. That's the top picks from the G.I. Joe Real American Hero line the, of the vehicles from 19, I think we said 87 to 1990. So we'll do 91 through 94 uh, in the next episode, even though it's only a couple of years, there's still uh, enough for a, a decent, ep uh, decent episode left. So thank you for watching this. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that fun social media stuff. And, um, Sound off below and let us know what your favorite vehicles were for these years, Joe and Cobra. And be sure and tell JD why he's wrong that this shark is the worst vehicle ever. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.